Thank you, FW Photo Lab, for processing and scanning all of these film photos. For your film processing needs, visit the link in my description and tap in with FW Photo Lab. So as always, man, before we get this video started, go harass and beat up the like button. Also, do want to mention that Sony was so nice in sending me a new camera to film all my new YouTube videos on and videos in general on. So thank you, Sony, for sending me this camera. This is not an ad. They didn't tell me that I needed to say anything about it, but in my appreciation i'm gonna go make a green smoothie i'm gonna you know make a little cinematic video for that so let's go do that What is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy Volandis, and we are back with another video. We are going to be shooting with my new film, my new favorite film, my new film that I'm going to be shooting with probably majority of 2022. Probably not, but we'll see. But it is Lomography 400 and Lomography 800. We're gonna be out here, we're gonna be testing a little bit of this today. I am currently waiting on Alia to get here. She is um, a model, so we're gonna be taking some photos of her on the GA645. So without further ado, we don't really got nothing too much to talk about. It is getting a little bit dark, um, so we're probably gonna shoot with the 800 instead of the 400 today. Not too much to it, we're just gonna, you know what I'm saying? 
take some photos per usual like we always do I like that it has you know what I'm saying photos All right, so now that we are back at the crib, here to talk a little bit more about my new favorite film, which is Lamography. Now, one might argue that this is only my favorite film because the price of Kodak film has went up, and you might be a little bit correct in that in that statement. But I've always liked Lamography film since I started using it back when I went to New York a couple of years ago, and I only took my film camera. I only took my film camera to kind of push me to be a film photographer or just to be a little bit more comfortable with shooting film. So I only took my film photographer, uh, I only took my film camera and that's what kind of pushed me to, you know, start shooting film. And I first shot Lamography film when I was there. Linus introduced me to it. And I just loved that it was, I didn't really know too much about film, but I did like and notice that it was different than the other films that I was shooting, like the Kodak portrait 400 and portrait 800 i noticed that it had a little bit more grain had a little bit more character to it and i just like that um i don't know it just it just felt different it felt good though and it felt just like very unique like it still looked like professional film but in a unique way i also love that lamography makes you know pretty cool films like the purple one and they got the red scale one i do believe is red scale and they got a little bit of uh and they do also have some other films that's like kind of unique so I, I love that about lamography but in this case though the lomo 400 and the lomo 800 now y'all know i don't really shoot this film often if at all y'all seen it y'all seen me shoot it a few times and to be honest it's it's kind of slept on by me at least i wouldn't say that it's slept on in the community but um for the most part most photographers they opt in for the portrait 400 or portrait 800 just because they know that it's going to look a certain way but I personally love the way this film looks. Now, I always say that I need to start shooting with it more often, but because of the price increase in Kodak Portra for 100 and 800, I probably will be shooting with 
this film a lot more because it is a beautiful film. One thing I did want to touch on is that one of my roles of film, and I don't know if it was because of Lomography or if it was because of the GA645, but one of the roles of film, when it got rewind, rewind, rewinded, when you rewind it back into its spool after it, I shot the photos, it didn't rewind tight enough. So the film was a little bit loose, not even a little bit loose. It was a lot of bit loose. So those um, photos clearly had light leaks in them. And I just showed them just to show y'all. And y'all probably was like, what the hell is this? Like, why is this? Why does it look like this? So yeah, I don't know if it was the film or if it was the GA645, but my GA645 has never ever done that to any other role of film that I've ever put through it except Lomo. But it also didn't do that to the rest of the Lomo um, role. So I don't know if it was just like error on my end, error on the camera's end, error on the film's end. I have no idea. So. I mean, yeah, that's that. I, I just wanted to touch on that real quick. But other than that, man, this film is awesome. It looks good. It feels good. Um, I don't really know the exposure limits on it. I know I did shoot a little bit of the photos underexposed and I shot a little bit of them overexposed. I even shot some um, with the flash just to get a little bit of everything in there. Kyle McDougal, great photographer, great YouTuber, filmmaker, all the things. Um, he did a video testing the exposure limits of Lomography's film. So if you want to see a little bit more about the exposure limits, go watch that video. But to me, one stop underexposed doesn't really change much. A stop overexposed doesn't really change much. I, I think when you start doing it two to three stops is when you start, it's when you start seeing things change a little bit. But for the most part, it holds up. It's not too bad. But I essentially made this video just to see if I was still going to like Lomography or if I was kind of like, eh, I've only liked it just because of whatever reasons but i do still very much like the film it's a great film it's fantastic it's amazing it's incredible if i if i should say the least but anyway yeah bro thank you fw photo lab for scanning processing these photos thank you sony for sending me the new camera so anyway man that's gonna wrap it up for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video got something out of it if you're not subscribed to the channel please do me a favor and consider hitting that subscribe button it would be truly gratefully appreciate it if you're already subscribed i'm not talking to you because you already did what you had to do so let's get up out of here man let's go do some shit you know the vibes let's get it